Howdy guys, Rex here. We're taking a look at the Armalite AR50. This is one of the older generation versions that you've been seeing on the channel for quite a while. Uh, this is a ELR rifle that I like to use. It's one of the most accurate 50 calibers you can get over the counter. Uh, and it's actually very, very affordable. It is very heavy duty and quite the beast to lug around, but it is made for accuracy. Um, this is a very nice rifle. If you also want to do HTA, hard target interdiction, this is a good choice for extreme long range type stuff. But there's a piece of equipment that I neglected to show you guys for quite a while. I know I've mentioned it before, but I don't know if I ever showed you on a video what this is. You see mounted here, uh, we have the IOR Crusader right here from IOR Veldata attached via the Rex Ninja mount. Uh, but below it, attached to the rail, right behind the scope, we have an angle cosine indicator. This is the Mark II with the rail mount. This is made by Badger Ordnance out of Kansas City, Missouri. Made in America. And this is actually a piece of kit. If you're shooting radically up and downhill, you're going to have to make adjustments for that. Uh, if you're shooting at a slant, uh, your, your gravitational drop is only going to care about the actual horizontal distance you cover, not necessarily this long distance that you cover in your slant. We talk about that on the Sniper 101 series and also at the RX seminars. For the quick angle of fire class, basically all you do is you take your angle of fire, and at 45 degrees you find out the cosine of that angle, and that's the number you multiply by your distance to the target, your true range, which is from you to the target with your laser range finder or from your uh, mill dots or whatever you're using to find out how far you are to your target. And you take the cosine of that angle and you multiply that against your true range and that'll give you the amount that you adjust for using something like your hasty firing cards or your applied ballistics calculator, which actually this does digitally account for that. <laughs> uh, but if you are running range cards, uh, you can you can enter that into here, uh, your angle of fire, and it'll correct for it on uh, most of these ballistic apps. But it's nice to know what that angle of fire is one, one, one way or the other. Either you're using the old range cards or you're using electronics. This is something you're going to have to enter in as one of your inputs, especially at long range. Now, what you'll notice is that at we're basically level now. The level is showing approximately zero, right? Maybe 99-ish. It's a little bit... Uh, uphill if you look at it here as it's situated so you would take 99% of that range and that's the dope you dial in for okay that's the dope you enter in as your actual horizontal range here or that you would look at on your tables for your gravitational drop now if you get at a radical slope let's say we're shooting down a mountain okay guys all right let's dig it let's shoot way down a mountain oh man now that's a radical that's a radical slope right we are now at 94% of our actual true range. So our actual horizontal range would be 94% of the number that you would determine with your laser beam. That's the number you dial in for. That's how you shoot. That works for uphill and downhill the exact same way. Doesn't matter. Uh, mathematically, if you really, really want to get into the physics, it does matter a little bit. <laughs> but for all practical significance, if you do it that way, you'll be within one click of a proper adjustment there. So this is a quick way to do it. You don't have to get out your scientific calculator in the field. The old way of doing this, I used to have cards that I would have different angles. And I would use like a protractor with a weight hanging off of it. And I'd figure out, okay, this many degrees. And then i type in that into the cosine uh, on function on a scientific calculator. Or you can just make a chart is what I did. Uh, but this takes all of that out of there. It instantaneously gives you not the degrees of your angle of fire, but the cosine of those degrees, because that's the number you're going to multiply by this percentage, okay? So uh, the more slant you have, the less percent of your true range you'll be adjusting for with your gravitational drop. So Badger Ordnance, I did get this from opticsplanet.com. If you use that Rex 5 discount, you can get uh, the discount off of your entire order, of course. Something we like to remind you guys of, but this is something that is really handy to have. You know, the farther out you go, the bigger difference it's going to make. And uh, that's something that you don't want to neglect to, to uh, compensate for in your firing solutions, especially if you're in the mountains and you're shooting up a mountain or down a mountain. This will actually hose you pretty bad if you forget to do it. And so it's nice to take the guesswork out of things and streamline the process. This turns it into an instantaneous process. 
You just simply look at what, what direction the rifle's pointing, it gives you the cosine. You don't have to play with the protractor, you don't have to play with extra tools. Then you can enter that input properly into your ballistic software, or you can subtract that from your super elevation value on your tables. All right, guys, Rex out.